So we're back here for segment five with our Business Central feature spotlight, and today is uh, going to be a pretty good one. Ken's going to be talking about the uh, a Yodely, I guess, bank feed service uh, or integration, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And it's very, uh, it's very good actually. Yeah, quick and e quick and easy to use. So, so one of the things that we we've seen is a, is a lot of new customers who are you know, now running Business Central who came from QuickBooks. Yeah. And one of the things that QuickBooks has is a direct integration with banks. So uh, as an example, if you were to, um, for example, uh, transfer money into your bank, right? Or make a deposit, like at the bank, then you could just import those transactions into QuickBooks. And so, there is now a standard feature in Business Central called uh, InvestNet Yodely Bank Feeds Service, uh, which you can configure and set up inside of Business Central. Now this is available currently only for Business Central Cloud customers. Uh, it's offered as a service that's included uh, with the cloud version. Um, but what it basically does is it replicates that same functionality that, that you might see in QuickBooks. Um, so within Business Central, you, can, you, be, you go into your bank account, and on your bank account um, page up on the ribbon, there's a, an option called Bank Statement Service. And then there's a button under there called Link to Online Bank Account. So what you do is you just click on Link to Online Bank Account, and it pops open a little window where you enter in the name of your bank. Okay. So for example, Chase. So you start typing Chase, and I, as I type in C-H-A, for example, I see Chartway, Charles Schwab, Chase. Okay. Right, so there, there are a, a lar pretty large number of banks. And- um, Is there anything there if your bank is not listed? Or does it have to be listed? I believe it has to be. Okay. It has to be one of the banks that's on there. Um, so now in terms of those banks, so for example, just to kind of give you an idea, this is not all of the banks, but this is just kind of a quick list I put together. Um, you have Chase, Wells Fargo, NC, US Bank, Bank of America, Key Bank, BMO Harris, CIBC, Huntington, Northern Trust, Fifth Third, SunTrust, BB&T, Capital One, HSBC, JP Morgan, PayPal. Schwab, TD Ameritrade, and others. So pretty much every Everybody. major bank you can think of. Yeah. Most, <laughs> yeah. most large banks, yes, are included. And, and so Yodely provides this service, this banking integration mm -hmm. service, and, and, and Microsoft works with them to incorporate this. So you, you, you find your bank, and, and then you, um, you enter your online banking right in there, user ID and password, and it then hooks up your business central bank account with your online bank really right well, very easy yeah so so now you you get it all set up and then there is a new page in business central um, it's called payment reconciliation journal so you open up the payment reconciliation journal and the, under the process button there's an option called import bank transactions so what you do is you, you import the bank transactions into this window, and then you have uh, two options. You can either post payments only, so you're, you're basically posting these transactions that have hit your bank that have not hit Business Central, or you can actually do an, a, a two-step process in one step. You can post the payments and reconcile your bank account. Wow. So Very it will nice. actually match up <coughs> transactions against um, entries that you may have hit, like your checks. Yeah. You cut your AP checks, they're already in Business Central, and it will it will reconcile those at the same time. And to be clear then, this is not a feature that was even available in NAV, right? Correct. This is just purely Business Central Cloud. That's right. Very nice. Yep. So I think this is a huge um, improvement. It eliminates uh, duplicate entry. You know, if someone's going on doing on banking right. in their online banking uh, site, uh, you then can can feed these in. And there's actually a setup where you can have it 
on a regular basis, you can set up a schedule to have the system automatically import those entries into the payment reconciliation journal. Wow, so even some more automation. So then you just go nice. in yeah. and, and check them out. And, and then it's all right there. That's pretty good. And then you good. do have to hit post before they actually become officially effective in your financials. That's great. That's so. phenomenal. Yep. So, so that, sorry, just wanted to sh yeah share that gr that great new feature um, that's out there. Again, it is it is for for Business Central Cloud customers only. You think everybody in the cloud should be using it? Um, I, you know what? I don't know because that's a great question. I've talked to a few people. We definitely we have multiple customers that are using it currently. But I've talked to some other people that said that they thought that would end up being more confusing. Really? Right. And I think okay. I think that's just people. Maybe it's it's people who have been for years managing Doing these separately, yeah. knowing what's in the system, what's in the online bank, doing a journal entry to get that, you know, that, that, that online banking entry posted, yeah, and then yeah. separately doing a reconciliation. Mm -hmm. So I think I could see that perspective yeah. where... It's kind of fairly unknown. You're kind of blending these processes together now, um, and, it, and it could... It, it, there is a possibility, yeah, where you, it might not you could end up with some confusion there. Yeah. But I think uh, it absolutely is, a, it's great to have it available. Yeah. It's something that a lot of people just flat out expect to be there mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Especially coming from QuickBooks, right. That's right. Yeah. So, um, yep, so I wanted to share that and we'll, we'll put a link and some documentation up on the, on the podcast site. Awesome, uh, great. This. Yes, we will, so. All right, our next segment, we're gonna do a little uh, holiday wrap up and see what, uh, what everybody's plans are and whatnot, so stay tuned.